If you use Pro Tools and you haven't already heard of these three settings, I really don't know what to tell you, except listen up. Number one, automatically copy files on import. So if you grab a piece of audio from your downloads folder, you drag that into your session, it'll automatically copy into the Pro Tools session folder. Every time that I run a session, I wanna make sure that I have all the files that I need to continue working on that project. The process of losing files is unprofessional and unnecessary when you got settings like these to back you up. Number two is gonna have to be one of my favorites as well. The ability to send fully overlapped clips to available playlists while editing and while recording. When I'm recording an artist or myself, I wanna make sure that all the takes that I have are kept. So if you're punching in a certain part and you wanna get this certain part right, anytime that you record over that part, it's gonna send that clip into a playlist just so you can reference it later. Same thing if you fully overlap a clip from dragging it from one track to another, it's gonna put that other clip into a playlist. Rule of thumb, you never wanna have too many takes because that'll take up space. That'll just lead us to our next tip, clearing unused clips. After you finally finish that song, you wanna make sure that you delete all of the takes that you didn't keep. This will not include the takes that we kept in the playlist, but every take that you didn't wanna keep at all, sometimes you didn't even say anything, you wanna make sure that you get rid of those because those take up space too. And I know the title of this video says three settings, but here's a bonus one. I love the record lock features. If we're tracking takes and the artist is trying to get a part right, we're constantly going back and forth. And I want to be quick with my recording. I want to make sure that every time they heard the music back in their headphones, I record it. Alright guys, Ray from the future here. I totally forgot to mention as I was editing this video, I remember it, you should always use quick punch recording. So if you've already played the track and you're expecting to record the audio, but you forgot to enable the transport record, then you could always just press record as it's playing so you don't miss a take. And then you could also extend that take to the left and it'll record everything starting from the point where you played it. Now, back to the video. If you like this type of content, go ahead and subscribe to the channel for me make sure you hit that notification bell so you get notified for future videos my name is ray from verified sounds and i hope to see you guys in the next video